just talked to the family and they say I got 23 miles to Moab or some crap. Man, I'm not doing well. Here's Camp Cody can't make Lockhart Canyon in the pitch black. Ladies and gents, Brapsters all around the world. Got the new stickers on. Couldn't get that cleaned off. We're off. We're gonna do the Utah BDR. Can't be an ambassador if you haven't conquered the hard part. Off we go, solo, baby. We got the uh, bullet for my Valentine on. We're gonna get some people. Let's go find ourselves a home. I'm heading to uh, freecamps.com site for the first time. So we'll see how that is. I believe this one right past the truck stop. So that could be interesting. And it is beautiful here. Look at that cave. Holy Nike. We are in Price. Looking for the Maverick. Hoping to get some firewood and a little bit of water. We've got some water, but a little more water can't hurt. And we saw somebody going to jail. And then we set up camp and cooked up some good dinner. Good morning, Brapsters. It's uh, about 6 a.m. And I am just outside of Price, right by Nine Mile Canyon in EDR terms. So this was going to be a one night camp to test out a new saw, but uh, I threw up a video and asked if you guys wanted to see me do the Utah BDR. Throw me some gas money. I didn't think anybody would do it. I really didn't. But Chappie answered. Threw me some gas money, so I gotta do this now. So, I'm out on the road, out on the trail. First night of camping was good. A little bit chilly, but not too terrible. Question today is, am I going to do the BDR south and then ride the freeway back? Or go all the way south of the freeway and just do the BDR normally? So I just wanted to show you the camp and the beautiful view. Day two, adventure begins. Yeah, so on day two, I packed up camp and then I spent about a half hour trying to mess around getting some different angles of cameras on the bike. None of which I found were secure enough to continue on doing, but here's a little bit of the footage that I got, just for fun. Okay, after some uh, technical difficulties with the camera, we are off. Here we go, baby. Look at this view. Look how majestic that is. Leaving Green River. So, as you leave Green River, apparently the BDR turns off right outside of it. So, we're just gonna take it and see. Let's follow the BDR. We are officially on the BDR. Shooting range. Yes. Holy bull. Oh my god. Woo! Those were big. Big bulls. Move on over, baby. I don't know if you could see those antelope. You see them moving? Probably not. There's an antelope. Hi, buddy. I decided to take the BDR down to the BDR for a minute and ended up out here. Thanks to you people me on by giving me gas money. I appreciate it. This is crazy. Awesome views. Playing in the sand, which I don't love, but gotta get better somehow. 
and I'm in the middle of nowhere. And the only person I've seen is the DNR guy. It's really cool and a little creepy to be out here all alone. I know I've got you all with me joining the adventure. Oh, I'm not sure where this is taking me. <laughs> There's a nudist colony. That's not where we want to go. <laughs> Fully washed nudist colony. Members only. You got to show your member to get in. <laughs> oh my god. That is awesome. Okay, yeah, that just happened. Yeah. Pretty silty sand. Gotta stand up, lean back. And uh, steady on the throttle, but look at this view. I'll look at it when I get home and edit the footage, because <laughs> as far as sand goes, this takes uh, this takes full attention. You feel solid for a second, and then then you're drifting, baby. But pretty amazing view. Good job, BDR. Good job. Look at that. It's like a castle. Wow. If you were coming the other way, you wouldn't even see this. So the butch hide out. <laughs> that would be crazy. This 
totally has to be it. I mean, wow. If I was with somebody, I would camp there. Alright, we're going through the uh, tower ground. I don't know if that's Butch Cassidy hideout or not, but it sure looks like one to me. And I had that on my mind anyway. Wow, that was one hell of a detour. I thought it was just going to be a little up and around back to the freeway. Which it kind of is, but it was a long up and around. <laughs> I thought maybe a half hour added on to my time, not most of the day. So day three, woke up after my wonderful experience trying to find a campground too tired to go too dark to drive too windy I found this little spot by the road and you may be wondering why in the world when you're out on an adventure would you camp right next to the highway well that's a good story so day two was an adventure I had a viewer throw me some gas money for this adventure and he said get up off your swing ass this is a quote, get up off your swing ass and come join the adventure, Cody. So, I did. We're gonna get into it. Day three, hitting the BDR today, bitches. Welcome back to Monticello, Brapsters. We're gonna hit the Maverick, because it's adventure's first stop. And then I'll uh, show you a little bit later when we're probably at the Valley of the Gods, our Mexican hat. What's up, ladies? Raptor Nation. See that over there? The trailer, the bike, and the truck. I'm doing all of that on that. How about that, people? Get some. Okay, day three, just pulled off onto Valley of the Gods Road. We're gonna go look for a camp spot and then decide what we're doing from there. And I thought I'd catch this uh, little river crossing or water crossing hopefully it's not a river oh now it's the same as last time <laughs> all right we have entered there's the old camp spot let's go see if the other one's available all right day three night three you know uh, in honor of Chris a buddy we camped here a couple weeks ago <laughs> and here and back you know it's only 400 500 miles I can't remember it's a lot of miles but in honor of you Chris here we go somebody else has been here built a cool little fire pit right by the edge here that's kind of cool so this is rather strange park is open booked online had to pay my five bucks but uh I wasn't going to come here and pay my five bucks because I'm a cheap butt, broke butt. However, last time I was down at Valley of the Gods and I got home, my dad says, did you go to the goosenecks? I'm like, what the heck are you talking about, dude? And uh, so I looked it up and it was like within 10 miles of literally my camp spot spectacular view you see represents over 300 million years of geologic history. You are standing on the edge of the goosenecks of the San Juan, one of the most striking examples of an entrenched river mender in North America. What the brap is up, brapsters? It is official. 
We are, Chippewa and I, are at the start of the Utah BDR. So we're going to do it as far north as we can, as much as time, money, and weather will allow us. Hoping to get to Current Creek, but that's a big stretch. But anyway... Yeah, baby. I'm in the middle of sand, sun beating down. I smell terrible. I come around a corner and here is a blonde and a brunette chick. Probably nine, nine and a half on the scale. Now I'm not trying to be sexist. I love my wife. I miss my wife. There's nothing about sex. I'm just saying I smell my absolute worst. I've probably never stunk this bad in my life. I can only imagine these poor chicks. I'm like, do you guys have any water? <laughs> 